With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone. So we are given with a question which says a potentiometer wire AB having length capital L and resistance of 2L R is joined to a cell D having EMF E by 2 and internal resistance is given as 3R is connected. The length AJ at which galvanometer in the figure shows no deflection. So uh, this is the basic case of a potentiometer. So in which we are interested in finding the uh, length that is the null point is obtained at point J. So we are interested in finding this length AJ. Let's suppose it has to be X or we can say it has to be the balancing length. So uh, as per the given question, this uh, battery source is having a resistance having internal resistance value small r so we can say uh, at this point a we have some potential and uh, if we consider this point b to be have having a potential of zero uh, towards the negative terminal of the battery so at this point we can clearly see there will be some potential drop due to this internal resistance so we are first interested in finding uh, the potential drop uh, or we can say the potential at point A. Once we get the potential at point A, we can be able to calculate the value X by using the uh, potentiometer principle. All right. So uh, to calculate this value, first we have to calculate the total in, uh, total resistance because the current is flowing in this section. All right. In the upper section, or we can say in the primary circuit, the current is flowing, and no current flows in this section, uh, as we have already studied about the potentiometer. So first we have to uh, calculate the value of current. So current can be calculated using Ohm's law. So it can be given as E by total resistance that is small r of this internal resistance and total resistance of AB that is given as 2LR. So it will become total of 13R. So this much value of current is flowing in this section. So now uh, we can be able to calculate the potential at A because we know uh, resistance in the section AB is given as 2LR so we can write uh, potential at point A or we can simply say it has to be potential across wire AB can be written as against by Ohm's law we can write so E by 13R is the current and resistance is given as 2LR so from here we can say the value of uh, potential difference across uh, AB or potentiometer wire is uh, coming out to be 2L e by r. We are taking uh, instead of epsilon, we are taking it as e, so that uh, it doesn't make any difference. So let's say we are taking it as to be epsilon only. To avoid any confusion, we are taking it as as per the given question. So this is what the potential difference across wire potentiometer wire we have calculated. So here it is 13. So this much uh, potential at point A we have calculated or this much potential drop will be there across this wire. So uh, to calculate the value of X we have to uh, use the first application of potentiometer that is in which we are interested in finding the unknown EMF of the cell. So as we know there is no current flowing in this section that is uh, due to the potential at A and J is same as that this two point. That's the reason we can say there is no current flowing in this section or galvanometer is showing null deflection. So we can write whatever potential uh, is there across in this section that is a by 2. So now we can say uh, e by 2 that is epsilon by 2 will be equals to uh, this is nothing but this is a potential gradient that is uh, we can write it as to be the potential drop across this section is VAB by L into uh, in this section we can say across AJ it will be V by A into L into X that is uh, it is nothing but this section is known as potential gradient or it is sometimes denoted with letter K. Alright so this is uh, how we can say the potential across both of these are same so we are just equating it. So potential across AJ will be V by L into X so from here we have calculated already V by uh, VAB. So it is 2L epsilon by 13L into X 
epsilon by 2 from here epsilon epsilon get cancelled out so we are left with uh, 13 by 24 into l so this is what the value of x we are getting or balancing length we are getting so this matches with option c i hope you have understood the concept well and thank you for watching for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today